From this presentation, we will understand string methods in detail. This is part 1 of string methods. In this presentation, we will understand only one topic. Let's see that topic. The topic that we need to understand is strip method. So, let's understand what is strip method. Strip method helps in removing the leading and trailing white spaces in a string. So, first of all, strip method is a string method. It helps in removing the leading and trailing white spaces by default. So, if we won't provide any arguments to the strip method, it removes the leading and trailing white spaces from the string. In order to understand this concept, we need to consider one simple example. Let's open our command prompt and let's activate the Python interactive shell. After activating the Python interactive shell, we are ready to type in the commands here. Let's type hello world, then dot strip, and then these parentheses. In this way, we can call strip method on this string. We need to provide dot here after the string, and then strip, then parentheses. It can be observed that this string has some leading and trailing white spaces. If we hit enter, we will get this string hello world because we have applied strip method to the string. Strip method can be applied to any string. It helps in removing the leading and trailing white spaces by default. Here in this string, we have some leading and trailing white spaces. These white spaces are removed by strip method and this is the reason why we are getting this string hello world without leading and trailing white spaces. I hope this idea is absolutely clear. Let's move on to the next point. Strip method not only removes leading and trailing white spaces, but it is also capable of removing any leading and trailing characters. It can remove any leading and trailing characters. Note that strip method is only capable of removing leading and trailing characters, including white spaces. It cannot remove characters within the string. It can only remove leading and trailing characters. The idea here is that not only strip method is capable of removing white spaces, but it can remove leading and trailing characters as well. Any type of character. For example, let's type hash hash hash, then hello world hash hash hash. We have this entire string. After this, we have dot, then the strip method. And within these parentheses, we have provided hash character. Now, as expected, if we hit enter, we will get this string hello world. Why is that the case? To the strip method, we have provided hash character. Now, with the help of strip method, we can remove leading and trailing hashes in the string. So, it removes all leading and trailing hashes in the string. And this is the reason why we are getting this string. Hello world without leading and trailing hashes. So, strip method not only removes white spaces, but it can remove any leading and trailing characters like hashes. Let's now consider one more example to better understand this concept. Let's say that we have this string, but this string is little different from what we have observed previously. In this string, the first character is not a hash character. It is a white space character. And here to the strip method, we have provided hash character. Now, if we hit enter, we will get this string. Now, it might confuse you. Why are we getting this string? After hello world, all the hashes are removed. But before hello world, no hash is removed. Why is that the case? The reason is pretty simple. Here, we have a white space character. Strip method always starts from the first character and the last character. So, it always starts from the first character first and the last character first. So, when it encounters that the first character here is a white space character and not a hash character, then it stops at this point and it will never see the rest of the characters in this string. This is the reason why these hashes are not removed and even the white space is also preserved, strip method has not removed this white space because the character that we have provided to strip is a hash character. 
so it can only remove leading and trailing hashes. Right now, this string has a white space character in the beginning itself. This means that strip method will never touch this and hence these hashes are also not removed. What about these hashes? Strip method has to start from the last character and it removes the last character because this character is matching with this character. Then it removes the second last character and then the third last character. After this it compares fourth character with this character. D is not matching with hash. Hence it will not touch this character and this is the reason why here we are not having any hashes after D. So I hope this idea is completely clear. With strip method we can remove any characters, but we need to be sure that the first character and the last character must match with the character that we provide to strip if we want to remove those characters. Okay, let's discuss one more example. Let's say this time we type hello world dot strip and within these parentheses, this time we need to provide four characters, not just a single character. So it is also possible to provide multiple characters to the strip method. Here we have provided total four characters. L, D, O and capital H, not small h, capital H. Note that characters are case sensitive in Python. So here, capital H we have provided, not small h. Both are not one and the same. Now what strip method does? It compares the first character within this string. If there is at least one character which matches with this character, then it will remove this character. As capital H is matching with this character, hence strip method will remove this character. Then it moves to the next character. Small e is not matching with any character in the string, hence it will not remove this character. Strip method will stop at this point. Now it starts from the last character. Small d is matching with this character, hence it will remove this character. It moves to the second last character. Small l is matching with this character, hence strip method will remove this character and move to the third last character. Small r is not matching with any character in this string, hence it needs to stop here. Although small o is matching with this character, but strip method will never delete this character because it needs to stop here. If we hit enter now, we will get lo ver. H is removed. L and D are removed. So this is the reason why we are getting this string. Now let's type hello world dot strip L D O H. This time we have provided small h, not capital H. This means this character will not be removed. Hence we will get this string hello world. These two characters will be removed because L and D exists in this string. R does not exist. Hence this character will not be removed and we are getting this string only. So this is all we need to understand about strip method. I hope this topic is clear. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I'll see you in the next one.